with Life Online and welcome to the Fairway Gall Literary Festival for 2016. I'm Rita Pires, Festival DR Director of Fairway Gold Literary Festival 2016. The festival is going really well, the crowds are coming. Um, we've had some great performances by Fiona Shaw, the Sonam Kulfi Project, and like all the sessions are pretty much full now. Hi, my name's Anika, and I came for the Gollit Fest yesterday with my mum. I particularly enjoyed Amitav Ghosh's conversation as well as Omar and Padma's um, conversation on trauma and migration. And yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Azara. So I've been here since yesterday. And okay, my favorite thus far has been the comic writing with uh, Shahan, Chimi, and uh, Sebastian Fox. I found it very interesting because uh, for me, I always find it quite riveting uh, to get to know about the genre of comic writing because I think it's the hardest. And uh, yeah, it was, it was very uh, insightful and also funny as expected. And um, I found a lot of uh, sessions quite interesting. I'm really glad that GLF is black, back actually because I think I missed just the first edition. I've been there uh, thereafter. And um, I think Top's German Bria was like one of the best. I think she was here in 2011. Then I also liked Ramla's, um, Ramla's one on uh, the, the, the Ceylon Moors. It was quite insightful finding out the different routes. And uh, I'm looking forward to quite a few. I li I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, Fiona Shaw and uh, yeah. So I guess the favorite, my favorite session of this festival was the duet between Minoli Salgado and Naomi Munawira about their debut novels, which, um, yeah, I mean, I both read and it was really um, a great experience for me to see how these two writers discuss their work. Um, I very much enjoyed the question focus that were focused around the diaspora, writing um, about Sri Lanka from the diaspora. So I guess this was my uh, favorite session, very closely followed by um, the session with Shyam Selvadurai, where he talked about his latest projects, which I felt also incredibly witty, and especially the conversation with him and Naomi Munavira, who chaired that talk. Oh, it's great fun. Uh, there are lots of interesting people. Uh, it's got that old world charm. It's been a great time. I met some wonderful authors that stimulated my mind, and uh, I keep hope they do it more and more often. I've been to Jaipur, and I've been to other uh, festivals in Kale. Uh, I think this is, this is a charm of its own and it's, uh, it's infinitely better in many ways. The festival is like coming home. Uh, my parents, as I say, are southerners, so uh, having the festival in Gaul is something extra special, but also meeting international writers at home makes the connection between the international and the local very centralized in, in the whole thing. So it's, uh, it's uh, that's what it means to me. So How was the session? As I said, one was very sparky um, and the other one was very polite, and uh, in, but engaged, which is what you want. Um, the dynamism of the festival is fantastic, you know, it's, uh, we've had so many different panels and bringing together, as I say, the international with the local, the national, and dare I use the word diasporic here, but the diasporic uh, is what I would say the Gore Literary Festival brings the international into Sri Lanka and is of deep, profound meaning. It also opens up the literary and that's very, very important because writers are not on the fringe of society. They are absolutely central. Their voices are so important 
to the determining of what we are as a culture and also the interface of different cultures. Writers are the visionaries. It's absolutely wonderful. Such a, a broad range of authors. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've met so many interesting people here, both the authors and also the people just coming to visit the, 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 the festival. It's just been a delight from beginning to, to end. This is your first Gold Literary Festival? Well, I, I came to a small version of it, I think, three years ago, oh, right. um, when there were, you know, it wasn't the huge, sprawling epic that it is now. <laughs> um, but so I, I, I was familiar with, with Gold and with the, the idea of it. Right, and how were your sessions? Well, I've mainly been talking to children so far. Uh, and that has been enormously rewarding and completely shattering, uh, having having 35-year-olds crawl over you. Um, but it's been, it's been delightful. not just my first time in, at the Gold Literary Festival, so everything has been new and totally fantastic. Like I was just telling someone, the big shock of the first day was finding out that Mira Xiao is in the same hotel as I am. So, oh my God, we think that every time you walk out anywhere in Sri Lanka, you're going to see celebrities. Oh, and Amitabh Ghosh is here. So all these people whose books you've seen are actually walking around in real life, which is amazing because they live in all over the world variously, and suddenly everybody is here in this little town in Gaul. God, that was the most exciting gift, I think. Um, my own panels, I can hardly think about because I was too busy trying to figure out who else's panels to attend. This is a gorgeous place. I don't want to sit indoors. I want to go and look at the city and the fort and everything, but you want to sit indoors because you don't want to miss anything. So actually, the Gold Literary Festival is giving me a breakdown of decisions, if you want to know. But it's been fantastic. I've actually learned a lot, not just from the sessions, but from the people I've met and talked to. I am overwhelmed with admiration for the organisers. I don't know how on earth they do it. I don't think they eat or sleep and they've got volunteers every turn. You get lost for two minutes, somebody comes up and tells you, you know, this is where you should be. So overall, it's been a total wonderful experience. I thought I would come here and do writing in the evenings, but no, I've been going out and trying to see and talk and take in as much as I possibly can. I will never forget this. Idea. It's been really fantastic to be here and to be at the festival, and I think the thing that I've really appreciated is um, coming from the West, we don't have a lot of festivals where we have this um, presence of writers from South Asia and uh, writers of color, so it's just been tremendous to be around other South Asian writers from all over their country and all over the world and it just feels really, really good to be among other writers and also to engage with readers who have um, read the book or have very good questions and it's just been wonderful being here. All right. um, it's been such a thrill to come to go to this literary festival. Um, who would not want to come from grey, damp, miserable London to a place as beautiful, as lustrous, as warm as Sri Lanka? Um, and to be given the welcome and the reception that I've had has just made this um, a literary festival above all literary festivals. And I must also pay compliment to my accommodation, which is on the island of Taprobain, which is about as magical a place as one could possibly want to stay. And I remember yesterday um, stepping onto the beach, past um, a spontaneous game of beach cricket, and taking off my shoes, wading through the lapping waters of the Indian Ocean, this extraordinary villa, and thinking, um, I hope that it, when I die, and if there's heaven, that heaven is rather like this. So thank you very much, it's been fantastic. We're signing off from Gold, from what has been an amazing literary festival. We saw some great panels, spoke to some amazing authors and ate some really good food. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to Life Online.